Hello, beautiful beings. Change is scary. All right. I know, I know. For all of you that are, you know, reaching for something more, you're up leveling in your businesses, you're trying something new in whatever area you're working in, and it is scary. I know what that's like. I'm going through that right now. I'm finishing my book. I'm, you know, writing presentations, doing talks, and as excited as I am about it, also there's a part of me that's freaking out. And I'm here to talk about that because talking about it is part of the solution. You are not alone in this. You're not doing anything wrong. It's perfectly natural to be scared about new things. That is part of the human condition. We are hardwired to be afraid of anything new because our brain sees new things as a threat to our survival. So we've got that going on, okay? It's about feeling these things that are coming up. Being with that part of you and saying, I know you're scared. It's okay. We are safe. We are safe. And one of the things like breathing, of course, is such a powerful, powerful tool. So always taking time to breathe in through the nose. Letting go of all that tension out the mouth. Into the present moment. Just relaxing into your body. And one more time. Into the present. Relaxing the body. So breathing relaxes you. And then here is another um, tool that Artie Viperla shared with me to help when I get into that place where I am freaking out. This is a helpful thing to do before my meditation. So I want what's going to be happening is I'm going to show you three things. So you're going to be using your eyes. This exercise is about using your eyes and your nose. So I'm going to have you moving your nose and your eyes in opposite direction and that helps break this tension, okay? So I want you to move your nose up, and as you're doing that, you're gonna be looking down, so like this, and breathing at the same time. So nose up, eyes down, and all the way down, and then looking up while your nose is going down, and all the way up. and all the way up. And you don't need to do this a lot and you can take a break in the middle and just even close your eyes. And now another one is going to be moving your, uh, your nose, well I'll move my nose to the right, to the far to the right and then my eyes will be moving to the far left. So, and breathing while I'm doing it. Far left, and now coming back the other way and going far right. And I know this is incredibly attractive looking, but it works. Far, and breathing while you're doing it. And again, you can take a little break. And now I've got one more for you. And this one's going to be, let's see if you can see me doing it. Okay. So what we're going to be doing is, again, I'm going to be going in opposite directions. So like a shift. So first, I'm going to turn my hips to the right. So you keep your hips to the right. And then you turn your waist to the left, 
keeping that there, and then your shoulders to the right, and then your head to the left, and now your eyes, if you can see, your, my eyes are going all the way to the left, to the right, pardon me, coming to the middle, and now we're going to do it again the other way, so you're turning your hips to the left, your waist to the right, keeping it there, shoulders to the left, head to the right, and then eyes all the way to the left. And now, again, one more time. Hips to the right, <clears throat> waist to the left, shoulders to the right, head to the left, and now eyes all the way to the right. And now we'll do it again. Hips to the left, waist to the right, shoulders to the left, head to the right, and now eyes all the way to the left, and then bring it back to center. And you don't need to do these a lot, like two or three times. And you can feel that your body, you know, that's broken that stressful reaction that we have where everything is zeroed in and focused on one thing. Everything's focused in the same way. So by doing this, shifting, you're breaking that up. So I feel a lot more open now and just breathing. So feeling a lot more relaxed. And that's something that I do before my meditation. I do that. I can do that any time in the day when I'm feeling that I've gotten myself worked up again because that's part of the human condition to get stressed out. And it's like, it's just acknowledging that and accepting that about myself. Okay, this is happening. And not giving myself hell about it. I'm not doing anything wrong. It's okay. And, you know, pulling out all the tools that I have, all the tools that you have to help yourself when you're feeling stress and tension. So acknowledging it and addressing it, and then going on with the rest of your brilliant day, all right? I am sharing a webinar, Feeling Your Way Into Freedom. Feel your way into freedom. Because what I know from my experience is that my feelings have my highest good at heart. And now I'm not afraid of my feelings like I used to be in the past with the work I've done. When I'm afraid, there's a reason I'm afraid. There's a part of me that needs some love and attention. And when I give that attention to the part that's afraid, it opens up and I learn something new and incredible that helps me out with what I'm doing. So join me for the free webinar. I'll be sharing about that in the upcoming days, so keep your eyes peeled. It will be um, a collection of tools like this to help you um, deal with the stress that comes with change because change can be stressful and it's about looking after ourselves while we are up leveling and living our best life. Have a fantastic day and I will see you soon.